Jeff Gordon pits as the race leader. He's headed for you, Marty. Indeed, race leader Jeff Gordon, as you say, Bill, coming to pit road, just sideways, getting in the car, extremely loose. They're going to put a round of wedge in it, trying to tighten it up, getting into the corners, and a two-tire stop trying to win a race. With Steve Letart, his new crew chief, calling the shots today. Brian Vickers is the race leader. And there's Tony Stewart, who has to hope that car and that tire hold together for 30 laps. Alan, now that Tony Stewart has not commented on his radio about that fender damage just now. The team was asked to look at it and see how bad it was. They were told, not bad, you just got to keep going. Well, he's rubbed away most of the rubber, yeah. so... It'll, it should, the smoke should stop here eventually because there won't be anything left to rub on. See right at the edge of that tire, gets on the brakes. See, it's already slowed down. Take one more look on board with Dale Earnhardt Jr. Listen. the contact Tony Stewart went by just about ripped the right rear fender off the eight car of Dale Jr. Stewart is up to the ninth position but Ryan Newman is about 100 yards in front of him. There's Brian Vickers the race leader last stopped on lap 198. It's been a wacky day nine cautions a red flag eight cars out of the race. And that's helped Kurt Busch. Alan, how about that 25? Yeah, Bill, remember, flashing back to Friday, if you haven't followed this all weekend, this is a backup car. Ryan Vickers' team had trouble in NASCAR technical inspection with their original car on Friday morning, brought this backup car out, got all of six laps of practice on it for the weekend before their two laps of qualifying in the impound. Made several pit stops early in the, ra in the race to adjust its handling. They stopped last at lap 199. I talked with Lance McGrew, the crew chief, a minute ago. He said, we're not stopping again. Until he runs out of gas. Or the checkered flag waves. Right. Or both. Oh, oh, Jeff Gordon, Dale Jarrett battling for position behind Mike Wallace. Uh, I think he said, you know what? See ya. Get out of my way. <laughs> see what started this. You see the 24 is already under Mike Wallace. Oh, wow. A lot of contact there. Wow. Jeff Gordon just about crashed up there in one and two. Gordon is shown 18th in the running order. Mark Martin right in front of him. Meanwhile, concern again for the 20 car of Tony Stewart. Well, you know, he's flicking off some fast laps, and I... I as you can see, the smoke is stopped. It's just about stopped. So whatever was going to be rubbed off, like BP said, is gone. So I think he's going to be okay right now. Just over 20 to go. The President's Cup returns to America and TNT. Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson lead the U.S. against the international team. Coverage begins Thursday, 1 o'clock. Eastern only on TNT. Brian Bickers, the leader on pit road. Well, he was running second. I guess Kevin Harvick had gone by. So now the 29 car is the leader. He took the lead when the 25 came to pit road. Harvick did. Alan? Well, despite what they just told me earlier, that they were going to the finish on fuel. Right side tires for Brian Vickers on this pit stop. They'll put a little gas in it and send him on his way. <laughs> Brian, you just can't trust those true chiefs, can you? Oh, I'm telling you what. Harvick? Matt? The original game plan, Bill, two tires for Kevin Harvick. But Todd Barrier just said to him, you are beating the guy. He sold the car. The three seconds that they lost by going with a two-tire route, they went with a no tires, they just lost that. It sounded like Tom he was running out of fuel right when they were putting gas in it, Matt. 
It was, it was very close, Wally, but the commitment holds on the racetrack and it brings out the caution. It changes everything. Yes, it sure does. does. Go ahead. I was going to say the five car may have been the culprit there of the cone laying out. You see the left front is flat. It's flat. He may have dove in at the last minute or something and hit it. You are going to see some wacky stuff in races over the next 10 weeks, but I'm not sure it's going to get much more <laughs> wacky than this. Dave? And BP, you were wondering all day about that five car, whether they could go on fuel. Obviously, they can't go with the left front that's flat, and they wouldn't have made it on fuel either, according to crew chief Alan Gubbs. It's about 10 or 15 laps short. Pits are closed. There's the commitment cone in the center of the screen. Here it is, right there. He slows down, and I see why the left front tire's flat. He locked up the brakes. Knocked the cone onto the track, brought out the caution. Now there are 20 laps to go. The thing is, this closes up the gap. This closes up the gap between guys like Newman and Stewart, who are on tires. Tony Stewart going by Joey McCarthy off turn two. Close call for Tony. What I was saying, Sterling sitting there and Michael are sitting there on lots of laps on their tires, but nothing to lose. I mean, oh, no, there's no. nothing to lose, but they didn't need this caution. The caution, what it did now, is erase the gap in between the guys that did stop, put on tires. Now they're sitting ducks. 21 cars scored on the lead lap. The last is Kevin Harvick. Yeah, the question is, do you think these guys at Wally that are out there with all these laps on the tires, do you think any of them will stop? I don't think so. If you, if you do, then you just wasted your time. Exactly. You're way back in 20th position. Pit road is open. I think you've got to stay out unless you have to pit for fuel, but I, I don't think you have to. But they're coming, Sterling is anyway. So is Michael. Jeremy Mayfield is on pit road. Matt, 15, Michael Walter coming for a gas only stop, possibly the 19 of Mayfield's in. Right side tires going on. You can see they're making adjustment on the right side, coming around to the left side. This team, that caution changed everything. They were going to go the distance, a half a lap shy, but they were going to roll the dice. Marty, the 19th away. Oh, Wally was exactly right. Sterling Marlin had the lead. He had to pit because he was too short on fuel, and it erased all of that lead that they had or that gap that they had. They took on two right side tires. Jeff Gordon, meantime, coming to pit road. His car has been extremely loose. It'll be a four-tire stop and a chassis adjustment and an air pressure adjustment. We saw him skate up the racetrack. Jeff wanted to make sure the pressures were up so he could race hard right from the beginning. Boy, he's deep in the field, Marty. It's going to take a long time. To, they don't have enough time to get It's less than 20 laps. There's not going to be a whole lot they can do. Carl Edwards also on and off of pit road in the 99 machine. Now, these caution flags have Carl Edwards has been able to get back on the lead lap. Under caution here at New Hampshire, less than 20 to go in race number one on the way to Homestead. 